Markle Jr., Duchess Megan's brother. Yeah, in the early 80s, uh, when these parties were going on, they were at our Woodland Hills house. During these parties in the early 80s, obviously my dad was there. You know, my dad would snort, you know, cocaine, and my dad would be upstairs in the bedroom, and, you know, I'd see, you know, lines of cocaine on the mirror, and I'd see him do it, and, you know, I didn't really pay much attention to it, but I think uh, back back in the in those times, in the studio times, when I, I, it was just everybody, everybody was doing drugs in the studios. And I was just, you know, pretty much, pretty much left on my own all the time. And my dad was never really around. Doria was, you know, she was around more than my dad was. My dad was always working. So I didn't really pay much attention to it. Or my father, when, when I was growing up, was very distant. He wasn't around very much at all. Uh, his work schedule, I mean, just, just, he just wasn't there. Uh, it was mostly my mom raising us all the time. But, you know, when, when my dad was around, he was just quiet and secretive and, you know, he didn't really want to be bothered much. And, and it was always like a big secret side to him. He always had a locked door somewhere. And, but most of the time he was always grumpy. First time that I knew my dad went to Thailand was in the early eighties when he was married with Doria. He went for a couple of weeks, and I just remember it so well because when he came back, he gave me some pretty amazing what they call tie sticks. So that was pretty pretty much of a big bonus for a young teenager. My dad's first trips to Thailand, I was you know a young teenager, and uh, he never told me why he was going. I just knew he wor he worked all the time, so he was just going on vacation. Never really got into why he why he was going there until until later. Uh, later in life, when my dad told me told me about his trips to Thailand, um, we were on the subject of talking about women, and and we we're out having a couple of beers and shooting a game of pool. I think he says, you know, you can get two women for the weekend for fifty bucks, and the things they'll do to you are incredible. You'll be a changed man. I kind of left it at that and didn't want to talk about it anymore. And I, I just, I just know of a couple other times that that he was talking about going over there. So he said, you know, something about dental work and surgery and whatever, all kinds of stuff you could get over there really done really cheap. I know he's been over to Asia uh, three times: first time to Thailand, second time to uh, the Philippines. I think he talked about going back to Thailand or the Philippines or both. But he goes for a couple weeks at a time. So when my father talked to me about, you know, the girls on the trips to Thailand, it was disturbing and I didn't want to discuss it any further with him. Of course, Doria would know that he went to Thailand. For what? She probably wouldn't know, but, you know, judging by their fighting and their arguing and stuff, I mean, maybe she found out, but that's just speculation. I really don't know. Could have a reason why they split up. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Some of my dad's and Doria's fights were pretty horrendous, pretty loud, a lot of yelling and screaming. I didn't really want to listen to it, and I just pretty much blocked it out, especially with uh, Megan in the house, you know? I, I didn't really want to be there. I think the first time my dad went to Thailand, uh, Megan was a toddler. Um, I think she was still in diapers. And yeah, so she was in the house. She was in the picture then. All my mom really told me about my father um, back when I was a little kid in Chicago was that you know, working at the studios back then was like almost like being a celebrity. So, my dad would stay out and and not come home for a couple of days. He'd come home a little wasted when he did drink back then. And my mom told me that you know she knew that he was cheating on her too, and so that's why they got divorced. When my father would come home, my mom told me that you know it'd just be uh, a lot of fighting and you know I would hear a lot of screaming and yelling and there was a lot of fighting going on. Um, this is back when I was like really little though so and with that and the infidelities that would be why they got divorced also right away. The relationship with my father has always been really frustrating, very like non-existent, um, very little bits and pieces of happy memory 